Hello, and welcome to the sixth episode in, hopefully, what is this series. We have a 1930s Maserati F1 car, the 8 CTF. This, this is an interesting car. So it doesn't have that much horsepower. It's only got like 500 and something horsepower. But it's from the 1930s. So the tyres... Let's just say they're not amazing. I mean, not to be rude to Maserati, but they're not brilliant. Um, so, yeah, basically we're just going to get in. Also, that steering wheel, I just noticed, looks awesome. It's got, like, all the rubber. Rubber? No. Like, fabric. Things. Yes. Um, but, yeah, this... So, Duracell paint job. It's by, I believe, Kaniac, uh 47... 96 or something like that you should be able to there you go there's the beautiful inline I believe it's an inline six um, but um so yeah that's well that's like the look around this car I guess and let's let's go into and uh, let's go into racing it um, I'll just show you gonna d accurate specs so we have also, I had to buy all of the race intakes and stuff for this, because I didn't have all of the parts. But this has 530 horsepower, 2,000 pounds or so. Uh, tires are old. Very old. Like, I had street tires in this. Look how thin the street tires are. Dear God. Calm down, Forza. <laughs> I love how the race looks look on this, because they look just so stupid, because they're so thin. <laughs> but yeah, um, what, yeah, this has the thinnest rear tires. This is 190 wide, so... Again, grip problems. Also, 225 rear tyres, that's fully upgraded. That's the same width that the GMC Vanduras were from last video. That's the same width that the GMC Vanduras were stock. So, this could be interesting. Uh, Laguna Sega, and again, loading. La -da 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 -da. I'm sorry, I'm not going to sing for you again. I'm, I can't sing. I'm, I, I apologise for that a lot. But yeah, also, brilliant news, Forza 6 demo. By the time I upload this video, that'll probably be really old, but, oh, crap. Okay. And I am going to, oh, here you go, here's your look around the car again, in the beautiful California sunshine, I believe it's California. Also, wheel spin, because the tires are tiny. Okay. These cars are, fairly overstated, but they're F1 cars, so they should be able to, so they should have decent suspension and decent gear ratios, hopefully. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Also, oversteer is real. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, well done to the people who managed to drive these, like, consecutive, like, what's it called? I've completely forgot the word. Um, well done to the F1 drivers that managed to drive these quickly and without skidding out because they had less power than me, I guess. But still, I mean, well done to you. Well done to you because you you had balls of something more than steel. I think all of you F1 drivers. Also, I love this car. This is a very funny car to go online with because you just go online and people are like, what 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 is he even driving? Like they just have no idea what it is. And it's just, it's brilliant, because you're just, like, drifting past them, like, being an absolute beast. And they're just like, whoa, what the, what is he even driving? Like, I don't even, I don't even know. <sighs> yeah, this is the, this is the, what, sixth episode now? Um, I'll probably take a break from recording these, and, because, parents should be nearly home. I think I'll have time, I think I have time to record one more video. Uh, so I'll have recorded seven videos. That's not too bad. Also, I am scraping on the corkscrew. Hashtag dance nation, bruh. <laughs> like hashtag hello vlog. Just like, eh, eh. Like, I love modified cars and stance cars, awesome. But I think I'd rather build a race car than like a street. Well, actually, no. I don't know. I eh. eh. I, I just, no, I'm, I'm going to shut up before I say anything that will ruin my uh, gear, my petrol-headed life, like, forever. But yeah, I love mod I love modified cars, and that's why I love Forza, because there's, like, so much you can do. Also, 
Need for Speed is going to be even better than Forza, just saying. It's going to be absolutely just amazing in terms of customization. If you haven't seen gameplay of it, I recommend you go search up gameplay because the customization in that game is just, it blows my mind. It's insane. Like, damn, like, wow. Also, looks amazing. It looks just absolutely amazing. And so far, the car list, it looks pretty damn good. I mean, the car list so far, it's got what? Nissan Silvia S15, uh, 180SX, I believe it's got an S13 as well. Uh, there's a Lambo Huracan, Lambo Diablo, uh, Mitsubishi Evo 9, there's a Golf Mark 1 out of nowhere, I'm not sure why that's there, but I love it. Um, uh, I believe there's an S2000, there's definitely a Toyota Supra, there is a Mazda RX-7, a Subaru BRZ, which is like the poster car, Ken Block's Hoonicorn, which is, if you don't know what that is, where have you been? Um, you must have been living like under a rock or something. Um, because that was just all over the internet a few months ago, and that is just an absolute beast of a car. Um, but yeah, like this. But uh, there's a couple other. Well, there's like the. Um, oh yeah, the Nissan 2000 GTR, Hakosuka or whatever it's called, the old one. That's gonna be. Um, that's that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be really nice to customize and stuff. From what I've seen so far, the customization in in Need for Speed, like I said, I say again, it's just brilliant. Also, this car could be very, very quick. This car could be incredibly quick. I really don't want to go faster on this lap because I just want to have. Some, yeah. Okay. So we haven't beaten people just yet. Bear in mind that wasn't amazing. That wasn't a very good lap. Oh god. Okay. So my best lap is a 155 point something so far. Best fat 155.276. I'm gonna have to go back because I'm not counting like whether it goes off track or not because these cars are hard to drive, so I can't blame them. It's I, I only have myself to blame if they go off track, so it's not their fault. So I'm just gonna count all lap times, whether they be fouled or not fouled or whatever, like that. Yes, indeed. Also, I'm probably having. I'm probably gonna. Oh god. I did not expect that to happen. I look down for like half a second and suddenly the car is just like, nope, I'm going backwards. Well, okay, there you go. Uh, make what you will of that one. Probably the fact that I'm not a very good driver and should be concentrating more, but there you go. Yeah, um, uh, I'm, I'm struggling to think of new car combinations. Like, I'll probably, I'll probably end it off with like a modern car. I'll probably end off tonight with a modern car, because this is, this is what episode, this is episode 7 now. And then I'll do episode 8. Hopefully, I'll get to do 9 and 10. I'll get to record 9 and 10 sometime in the near future. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'll be I'll be releasing these like once every week, I think. So I'll, I'll just put it on scheduled release because otherwise I'll just completely forget. But yeah, oh god, yeah, this is a much slower lap. So I believe the fastest lap this has is a 155. Probably could have gone quicker. I mean, I massively like mucked it up. Uh, because I'm an idiot and didn't look where I was driving. But yeah, this car is a really fun car to drive. Like seriously, if you if you properly tune this car, like I have um I have a '50s Ferrari F1 car, and that, whilst slightly oversteery, if you tune it well, is just so quick. It's just it's ridiculous. Like it's it's super super quick, and I think more people should use the classic F1 cars. I don't understand why there isn't a series for classic F1 cars. Like have this the um, the Audi eight, the Audi Auto Union thing and the and the Ferrari. And I believe there's a couple more, um, but have those in a series. That would be brilliant racing. I would love to see that. Also, fail race, Alex, if you're watching. There you go. Okay, so that was that. I believe the fastest lap was a 155, but it was fouled, so it's not showing up there. But yeah, that was the Maserati 8 CTF, the 30s F1 car thing. I believe this is the oldest car in the game. I believe it is. Yeah, I think it's the, it's the oldest car in the game. Second oldest is like the Audi Auto Union thing. And then, so, well, yeah, that was, uh, that was the 8 CTF. If you like the video, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, share, subscribe, favorite, like, whatever. I don't know why I keep saying favorite. Is favorite a thing on YouTube? Is it? I'm pretty sure it is. I've uh, I've been watching YouTube videos long enough. I should know that. But yeah, that was uh, so that was that that was that video. And you know, 
do whatever you want to do with it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.